Welcome back to Benji and that's Sesame Saturday. What's good? Today, we are watching a classic, a childhood favorite Toy Story. I figured we might as well start the year off with a little bit of nostalgia. You know, we're getting out of the Christmas season into a whole new year. How is 2022 looking for y'all? Matter of fact, talk to me about some goals that y'all want to achieve this year. If you're watching this premiere, put it in the chat. Actually, no, save it for the comment section because I need the algorithm love. Shout out to everybody that's currently watching this premiere. How you doing? How you looking? How you smelling? I hope you're doing, looking, and smelling amazing. I hope y'all got y'all water because we need to stay hydrated all 2022. It is a new year. Let's not start off dehydrated. Some of y'all lips is already looking like a sidewalk. We need to fix that time now, okay? Okay, spam up the chats with some hearts real quick. I need all the positive energy. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for rocking with me into the new year. Honestly, I love y'all. I really do. If no one has told you today, I care about you. You matter, all right? All right, enough of the talking. Let's get into Toy Story. Man, look, I ain't gonna hold you. Pixar got some of the hardest bops in their catalog. Oh my gosh. Like, they are stacked. Makes no sense. They about as thick as a horse. This is a stick up. Don't All right, now I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> Me and Mr. Potato Head, <laughs> we favor just a little bit, but he looks more like Steve Harvey than he does me, though. Reach for the sky. Hey. Yo, how'd you know it was me? Are you gonna come quietly? I remember as a little children when I was watching this movie, it was so like mesmerizing because of the colors. Like it was so bright and just like, it was, it started off fun. Do y'all remember how old you were when you first watched Toy Story? Let me know. I don't remember how old I was, but I do know that I had a VHS. I do remember that. You got friends. Yo, and shout out to Randy uh, Newman. I think that's what his name is. Bops. Oh my gosh. He killed the soundtrack for this. And I'm, I'm never gonna forgive y'all for what y'all did to this song. Y'all know y'all know what I'm talking about? That TikTok where the girl walk into the room and is like, you got a friend. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I will never forgive y'all for that. You got, got a friend in me. I never noticed Steve Jobs' name was in the credits. I didn't see that. In me and you, boy, boy, a friendship will never die. It will never die. You gon' see it's our destiny. Yes, hallelujah. You got a friend in me. Yes, you got a friend in the name of Jesus. Okay, it's party time, Woody. Wait, so did they ever explain what happened to Andy's daddy? Like, why? Why is his mama single? <laughs> That's exactly how babies play with toys. <laughs> Look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it. <laughs> you uncultured swine. <laughs> he called him an uncultured swine. <laughs> I haven't seen this movie in years. What do you say I get someone else to watch the sheep tonight? <laughs> the adult jokes. Oh, little Bo Peep is trying to get her Bo Peep, okay? Hello, check that better? How funny would it have been if he would have started rapping? I would have lost it. Oh, all it would have. My name is Woody. I'm under duty. A dooba 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 dooby. Now, minor note here Andy's birthday party has been moved to today. <laughs> he tried to mumble it under his breath. Your head. If Woody says it's all right, then, well, darn it, it's good enough for me. Oh, I see what they did. I didn't catch that as a little children. He told him he's a butt kisser. I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. Wait, the guy that plays the T-Rex, that's the one that does the, the uh, inconceivable, he's an inconceivable guy on The Princess Bride, or I put that movie behind me. I did a movie commentary to it, but don't go watch it. People hated it, so, yeah. But that's him though, right? Okay, so before this video continues, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Thank you so much for being a continuous sponsor on this channel. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries who come together to find inspiration and take the next step in a creative journey. Skillshare can help make your 2022 a year in learning, growth, and connection through creativity. Do you have a specific skill that you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start from photography, illustration, to graphic design, freelancing, and more. You can find classes that will match your goals and interests. 
So I decided 2022 was gonna be the year of me learning and understanding finances way better than I do because like I told y'all, I am tired of being a little poor boy. I am currently taking a class called Money Management for 18 to 26 year olds with personal finance and investment productivity by Cal Isla. He has an MBA and he's also a university instructor. Within this course, he talked about the importance of money management, of course, personal budgeting, saving strategies, and the most important, investing. Skillshare was made to help you experience real growth in whatever you're looking to do. It's ad free so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. Skillshare's entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. The first 1,000 people to use the link that's in the description will get one month free of Skillshare. Once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now enough talking, let's get back into today's commentary. Any dinosaur shaped ones? They're all in boxes, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we find out. This movie does a really great job of advertising like toys in general. Like, I'm sure, I don't know if they dropped this around Christmas time, but it seemed like it would be the best time to do it. And barbecue. Ow. Thought I told him to pick these up. Stepping on one of those is like stepping on a Lego. Have you ever stepped on a freaking Lego? Them things hurt. They're tiny but powerful. Ladies, keep that in mind when you deal with, never mind. Never mind, this is a kid's movie. We're not gonna go there. My boys, I was trying to look out for y'all. I really was, but I can't do it this video. The next one I got y'all. That's what I'm talking about. That's how soldiers move. We never leave a man behind. Shout out to all my best that's currently watching. If you didn't know, I was in the army. Yeah. Andy's opening the first present now. Mrs. Potato Head, Mrs. Potato Head, Mrs. Potato Head. My boy trying to come up on his wifey. I ain't mad at him. He said, I'm tired of living his life alone. Lunchbox. Lunchbox. Lunch. <laughs> okay, second present. <laughs> Why was that funny? <laughs> Yo, what was your favorite lunchbox? At, like, did you used to carry a lunchbox? What was your favorite one as a kid? So did I tell you? Huh? Nothing to worry about. I knew you were right all along. It's so funny to think about toys being jealous of another toy, like humans. So wild. No, you big lizard. I will never know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yo, they said that's how Jake Paul knocked out Woodley. Just stand through the oh, 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 oh. <laughs> They said he hit him with the Andy's coming. Well that mistake is sitting in your spot, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I thought Buzz Lightyear was the hardest toy. Like, I'm not gonna hold you. I wanted one of those. Speaking of Buzz, are y'all gonna go see his solo movie that's about to come out? Like the Space Command joint? It looked cool. I wish that they would have had the original voice actor for him, but you know, it is what it is. Blast. This will take weeks to repair. Bro, it would take two seconds with scotch tape. Which by the way, if y'all would like to sponsor me, business email is in the description. Holla at your boy one time. Seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Uh, oh yeah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right here. Local law enforcement. It's about time you got here. I'm Buzz Lightyear. Space Ranger! Hey, what's that button do? I'll show you. You can tell he was proud of pressing that button. That man got into the superhero stance and everything. Hand on his hip. Space Ranger Corps. I protect the galaxy from the threat. <laughs> He's literally saying, what's on the back of his box? <laughs> Yo, you can tell Woody is big salty. I don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. Hey, a laser? How come you don't have- I'm just now noticing how Mr. Potato Head is a, he's a big instigator. That used to be me. Like I used to instigate issues just to watch it play out and laugh. I was terrible, I really was. I was the villain. I've been the villain my whole life. The word I'm searching for, I can't say because there's preschool toys present. Oh, wow. <gasps> what was he gonna say? I wanna know. Excuse me. That man said, I get Superman hot, dun, dun, dun. I get Superman hot. Can't, can't, can't. I fly around this room with my eyes closed. That's how you gotta talk to the doubters in your life. You gotta tell them I can and I will, just watch me. Not to say that you got anything to prove to them because nine times out of 10, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're just haters. But still, don't let nobody tell you what you can or can't do. Can. I found my moving buddy. Dang, y'all see how little Bo Peep changed up on Woody? That wasn't flying. That was falling with style. That line is such a classic. I love it. I love it. That's what I say when I trip. Right in my pocket. Hey, hey, wow. hey. Uh yeah. I'm telling you, Randy has some bops. Oh my gosh. Straight. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy found his roar like Simba did. And I'm doing the best I can. Didn't Randy do like the music on Little Rascals too? Or maybe, I don't know, was that him? One who my dog. <laughs> Yo, Woody is so upset. That jealousy boy, so green for no reason. Man, I know that hurts. Andy done changed up on him too. He got the bed sheets. He got him sleeping next to him. Ah, yeah, that that would that would hurt. Honestly, it would hurt. But you you just a toy that he grew out of. You should have known that your time was coming. That's kind of what happens when you get too comfortable in a position and you don't appreciate it. It gets took from you, and then you go, dang man, I should have took better. Like I should have appreciated this a whole lot more. And now it's gone. I'll never get it back. Look, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's so funny. We'll always have a special place for you. Yeah, like the attic. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's so disrespectful. <laughs> That's what I would tell him. That's exactly what I would tell him. You stay away from Andy. He's mine. Not Woody out here singing the boy is mine. How hilarious if there was a remix with Woody and Buzz and they singing the, the boy is mine. Like how funny would that be? Somebody needs to do that. That's how dramatic y'all be, for real, for real. Y'all need to get it together. Hey guys, look, it's the real Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's history. laughs> Honestly, I don't see a problem with Sid. He'd be out the way, minding his business, doing his own thing, like destroying his own property. He don't be messing with nobody, at least I haven't seen it. Oh, Pizza Planet? Pizza Planet? Man, I really thought Pizza Planet was a real place and I wanted to go, like really bad, until I figured out that Pizza Planet really is Chuck E. Cheese. See anything? Uh, he's there, just, just, he's looking <laughs> to Man, that is so gangsta. Woody really tried to take my boy out. So gangsta. <laughs> 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 Smooth knocked him out the window. Couldn't handle Buzz cutting in on your playtime, could you, Woody? Honestly, and Mr. Potato Head's been trying to get rid of Woody for a minute, so I think he was jealous of Woody's position, too. So before there was a Buzz, there was a Mr. Potato Head. They really got Andy dressed like a pro golfer's son. I'm heading out the door. Yo, they really sketched a freaking noose. Real life. To let Woody know what time it's gonna be. Let you drive. Yeah. Yeah, when you're 16. Yep. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Revenge is not an idea we promote on my planet. But we're not on my planet. That's what I'm talking about. You gonna have to see me, yes sir, trying to knock me out the window. You thought stuff was sweet, and it ain't though. Oh! <laughs> the local sheriff and I seem to be at a huge refueling station of some sort. You! Honestly, I don't see how Woody can be upset at Buzz. Like, really, it's his fault. He did it. Should have figured out a way to control that jealousy, my boy. The security of this entire universe is in jeopardy. What? What are you talking about? Yo, that's exactly how I respond when people are talking and it makes no sense. It's just like, what? Are you even talking about, psycho? You are a toy! Yo, I love the way that he delivered this line. Like, so good. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Farewell. Yo, I am going to start using that line from here on out. That was such a great line. You are a sad, sad little man, and you have my pity. For any of my haters, that's for you. Andy, Buzz, come back. Go away. Woody is so maniacal, like he knew that the only way that he would be accepted back as if he came with Buzz and made it seem like they all good, even though he still secretly can't stand him. So selfish. Let's get the back. No one will see us there. Negative. That man said restraining harnesses, and he was talking about a seatbelt. Over my head as little children, but I almost missed it as an adult. Like just, just for a tad second. Ah! Understand kids, always buckle up for safety. It is very important. It can save your life. Speaking of stuff that can save your life, did y'all drink y'all water? Go get you some water. Yup, I ain't forget. Go drink your water. Sheriff. Now the entrance is heavily guarded. Wait, the entrance is what? It sounded like he said it's hella guarded, but I know he didn't say that. Hyperactive hyperdrive and astro uh, turf. I would have known that Woody was just saying anything because it sounded bogus. That man said astro turf. Ranger from the outside. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, is the minions based off of them? Because it really does seem like they were the original and then minions came right after. 
honestly, Toy Story is really like the only movie where like all of the side characters could have their own solo movie. Every single one of them. Like I would watch. <gasps> All right, so I take back what I said about Sid. I really thought he was only a menace at home, but he causes ruckus everywhere he goes. I stand corrected. Farewell, my friends. I go on to a better place. See, some of y'all, that's how y'all feel when y'all get into a relationship, and then you end up single. <laughs> I didn't have to go there. I really didn't. I know. There was no point for that. But shout out to the ones that are, you know, happily in their relationship. Yes! <laughs> Now, I would have for sure found it odd that there's a Buzz Lightyear in the middle of these aliens. Like, and it's the only one? Anna! Hey, Anna! Why did he yell at his sister like that? Hey! She's sick! No, she's not! I want to perform one of my operations! Man, that's so messed up that he's bullying his little sister. That just ain't cool. It's not right, honestly. But I ain't gonna hold you, though. I think it does build a little bit of character, you know? It just shows her that life ain't fair. I only say this because I used to pick on my little sister just like that, so, you know, part of me can relate. I am the villain. And I don't feel bad. I really don't. Hannah! Jeannie's all better now. <laughs> oh, he is a savage for that. <laughs> I'm out of here. Man, I like Woody's attitude. He don't waste no time. He's seen the opportunity. He's trying to go. Now, when I was a little children, I thought that was an old biscuit. Like, I don't know why, or like an old Oreo or something. I was like, this man had this Oreo in his room so long, it's not even black no more. It's white. Because this was before they came out with the golden Oreos, which honestly is like my favorite. But that's just me, though. Now, you want to talk about creepy and scary? Like, that little thing right there scared me as a little children. Set my laser from stun to kill. Anyone what attacks us, we can blink them to death. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the fact that they had Buzz glowing. I think that's pretty cool. Rebel base, talk! <laughs> Yo, he is gangsta. He threw him. <laughs> you know, Sid was really in his room doing some evil things to his toys. For him to be able to figure out that's how you can burn one of them. Because you know he wasn't paying attention in class to learn that in school. Like, that didn't happen. Ah! I'm proud of you, Sheriff. They really just plug Pop-Tarts and Fruit Loops at the same time. Good stuff. But if you don't know what's out there. <laughs> they really stood in front of the door like, I'm gonna tell y'all what y'all won't do, and that's leave this room. Idiot, you're a toy. Use your karate chop action. How did he figure out that there was a karate chop action? Like, he must have really analyzed this man's box or something. Dinner's canceled. I love how he really just threw Buzz down there after using him to escape. You're gonna get us killed. Tell me what to do. That's how I feel about it. Honestly, I don't like people telling me what to do. You want to guarantee me not to do what you asked? Go ahead and try to tell me I need to do something. Watch how fast I just sit and look at you. Watch. It, it won't get done, I promise you. Oh, you want to talk about the stresses of little children when that string? Oh my goodness. See, in real life, that dog would have pushed through that door. He wouldn't have just peeked his head and he would have just walked right on in. Come in, Buzz Lightyear. This is Star Command. Oh, this is when he finds out that he's just the toy and he loses his purpose in life. Laser light. Oh, they didn't even edit out the hand knocking the cans down. How ghetto is that? At all Al's toy found outlets in Detroit County area. Oh, so they were based out in Detroit. I never knew that until now. How many people watching from Detroit? Shout out to y'all. Shout out to everybody that's watching overseas. Like, I appreciate y'all. It still blows my mind that I have viewers on the other side of the world. Still wild. Man, there is nobody that writes music like Phil Collins and Randy Newman. Like, how did he... Like, I mean, the song fits so perfectly with this. All of the music, Chef's Kiss, Randy Don't Miss, Nothing But Bops. Oh, this is when he attempts to try to fly. Oh, boy. They illustrated that so perfectly. I mean, like, the realization, the stress, the shock. I, I felt it as a little children. I really did. They really had him laying there like uh, Cleo at the end to set it off. Day after day. Would you like some tea, Mrs. Nesbitt? <laughs> she done throw an apron on that fool. <laughs> and called him Mrs. Nesbitt. It's all God. 
Oh, it's gone. <laughs> and suddenly you find yourself sucking down Darjeel. Yo, he delivered these lines so good. Don't you get it? See the hat? I am Mrs. Nesbitt. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> Oh my gosh! The lap, and then this man pimp slapped him. I can't even fly out of a window. <laughs> that look good. Tell me that look good. Son of a building block. It's Woody. You know, Pixar, y'all be pushing the limits. He says, "Son of a building block." We like literally tap dancing on that line just a little bit. What's this? <laughs> Whoa, I got it, Woody. Woody got a pretty good arm. For him to make that all the way over there? Buzz, will you get up here and give me a hand? Bravo. Bravo. I love it. Hi, Buzz. Hi, fellas, to infinity and... <laughs> he funny for that. He real funny for that. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you get too comfortable. He got caught slipping because it does look like he chopped his body up. All right, back. Back, you cannibals. And you know what's funny is that these toys have been used and abused, but their intentions are way more pure than Woody's and Buzz to a certain extent. But Woody did start off as a villain. I'm not gonna hold you. He started off as the villain. But, but they're cannibals. We saw them eat those other toys. This right here is the definition of, this is why you should never judge a book by its cover. The big one. Keep out of reach of children. Yes, I'm trying to figure out why did you, who ordered that for you? It had to be your mama. Like, how did he order that? Now, I love the Spider-Man technique that he used here to hide from him. Genius. Launch of the shuttle has been delayed due to adverse weather conditions. Okay, so I want to know, is it like summer vacation or something? When the heck does this kid go to school? Like, when? Psst. Psst. Hey, Buzz. That right there is exactly what it looks like when you give up on yourself. Like, my guy really just, he just quit on himself. Never quit on yourself. I understand it is hard. I get it. Life is hard, but trust me when I say nothing is easy. Nothing is easy. You pull through this, it'll show you how strong you actually, you're stronger than you think. I'm telling you, you are. I believe in you. If nobody told you, I believe in you. You got this. Hey, wait a minute. Being a toy is a lot better than being a, a space ranger. You are his Toy. Look what that's what I'm talking about. The message. Come on. As a matter of fact, you're too cool. Look, he's coming to the realization he was jealous. All right. Buzz. That's how it works when you're working as a team, even though he ain't paying attention. <laughs> now I don't understand why would Woody just stand there? He was already free. He should have moved. He's a good toy down there. He's he's gonna be blown to bits in a few minutes. All because of me. That's what I'm talking about, Woody. Take accountability for your actions. Yes, sir. That's gross right there. We love to see it. Oh, it's good. <laughs> they led the dog straight outside. That was genius. That was a good play. Hey, great. Help me out of this thing. Shh. What? It's okay. Bro, we don't got time to talk. If you don't hurry up and move. You and I can have a cookout later. I love how this kid don't ask no questions. And his mama just lets him play with matches. Why am I surprised? She bought the man a rocket. Now that I think about it, how old is Sid? Like, I mean, in the face he looks 18, but he could really be 12. It's busted. Who are you calling busted, Buster? I really thought this was super creepy that he started talking directly to Sid. It was cool when he was talking to the toys, but once he started talking to Sid directly, I was like, ooh, he possessed by Chucky. <laughs> Even though this was like a really good moment for them to be able to get the revenge, it still was kind of creepy. Like I remember it creeped me out as a little children. <laughs> that was gangster. I like how he did that. Yes, sir. Woody the van. Wait, why didn't he just take the tape off of him though? Like he could have easily did that. Just go, I'll catch up. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. My boy couldn't leave his man behind. He ain't a hater no more, y'all. You can do it, Woody. Now, Woody, if Buzz did this with a freaking rocket on his back, you should definitely be able to do it. I mean, I don't know why he just stopped. He should have kept going. Take care of Andy for me. No. <laughs> I like how he said no. <laughs> I'm glad they made this more realistic that there was like he that Hello darkness my old friend 
the fact that there was a stoplight and he had to stop, that's what made the doors go up instead of him just magically being strong enough. It's great. I'm telling y'all, 2022 might be the year I retire. I don't know, it just might be. What's he doing? Now I'm not gonna lie. If I didn't know, like out of context, like it, that does look gangster. Like my boy really did just kick him straight off. I wanna know how fast does that thing even go? Cause like all of the remote control cars that I had, they never went that fast. In real life, Sid would have lost the dog, 100%. That dog would have got straight hit. Toss him overboard! Look at that yeah. <laughs> That's so gangster. They really threw that fool out of there. <laughs> so gangster. It is Buzz. What he was telling the truth. What have we done? <laughs> Great. Now I have guilt. <laughs> Now I get he's supposed to be the He-Man toy, but he really ain't that strong. Woody, speed up! Speed up! The battery! Oh, my boy's battery's starting to drain. Oh, hey! I didn't know they had this in here. A Kuna Matata, yeah. The match! Yes! Thank you, Sid. I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually forgot that he had the match on him. Wait a minute. I just lit a rocket. Rockets explode! <laughs> it just hit him. Just now. Uh, Should have held on longer. <laughs> look, look, it's what. <laughs> this is the part where we blow up. Not. Now, why couldn't you do that so that way y'all could have flew inside the dang truck? Hey, Buzz, you're flying. This isn't flying. This is falling with style. To infinity and beyond. Great line. My boy Buzz, out of nowhere, just became an excellent flyer. Like, literally, knew how to navigate and all. Straight to the car. Oh, maybe this did come out around Christmas time. Isn't that mistletoe? Uh-oh, she put you under the mistletoe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Holly's first present is Mrs. Potato Head. Gee, I better shave. My boy said he want to look good for his wife is. I feel him, though. What is it? Oh, I love the way that they zoomed in. That was really good. Toy Story. So y'all should already know what's gonna come next. You know we gotta do number two. You know it. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and your miles and your miles from your nice warm bed. Yeah, yeah. Remember what your old past said. Yeah, you got a friend in me. Yeah, you've got a friend in me. Hallelujah. All right, so that was Toy Story number one. Y'all know that I gotta do number two. You know that I got to. Such a classic. It's been a long time since I've seen these movies. Like, Toy Story one, it had to at least been like seven or eight years since the last time that I've actually sat and watched it. I did watch Toy Story number four in theaters once but I don't really remember it all like that. I really don't, but I think I enjoyed it. Like, I think I really did enjoy it. But either way, if you guys enjoyed this movie commentary, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what movie you want to see me do next with the hashtag Bingers, B-I-N-G-E-R-S. We do have a video coming this Thursday, so y'all make sure that you're subscribed, you turn on post notifications, and we will be back again this Thursday. I love each and every single one of you. Shout out to everybody that watched this premiere. I don't know if I said that already. Anyway, grab up the chat with some hearts right now. Before we leave, I need to feel the love. I need to feel the energy. Yes. Thank you so much. Until my next video, I will see you guys then. Billy Pinches out. <laughs>